Welcome. Today I show you how to make butternut chapatis. They are soft and they have layers as you can see. In a glass or cup of warm water, add one tablespoon of sugar, which is optional, but I prefer cooking with sugar. A tablespoon, one tablespoon of sugar and half a tablespoon of salt. Stir that until everything has dissolved. Once you get the water measurements correct, don't worry about the flour measurements. You can just start pouring flour in a bowl. One medium sized butternut that I have boiled and blended just a little salt. You start mixing that, that up. Then you add the water. A glass of water normally makes 10 chapels, but because we have butternut, I'm going to use less, less water. I will not use the whole glass. You mix it up step by step while you keep adding flour where needed. When everything is mixed up well, now put it in a surface and now knead it for about 10 minutes. You knead it until it gets soft. The secret to soft chapatis is the kneading. Also the use of warm water makes a difference. After you have kneaded to satisfaction, put it back in the bowl, add the oil, Need a little, then set, cover it, and leave for 30 minutes for the dough to settle. The kitamba is optional, people. After 30 minutes, as you can see, our dough is very soft. I'm going to divide it into two, and each into two balls. Each ball will give me five chapatis. You roll it out until thin, but not so thin. And then you apply oil on it, evenly on all the surface. Then now you divide it. You fold it, fold each division into a ball. Remember the more folds, the more the layer, so like that. Stretch, then roll. You do that for all of them. Yeah. So now we are ready to start cooking. Roll out into thin chapels. Me like them, not so thin, not so fat. And try to be as circular as possible. I'm not a perfect circularist but try your best one side flip one side flip till you get what you want for me I prefer that and then I prefer roasting them first before I fry them all at once so I just roast set aside and continue accumulating this is how they look like after they have all been roasted, now ready for frying. So take one, apply oil on one side, then flip for it to cook. Take another chapo, place on top of it. Apply oil as well. On one side, flip. This other side has cooked, so flip. Apply oil and cook the other side as well. You can do two or three chapels at once, the number that you're comfortable with. For me, I can do up to five, and you repeat the same procedure until all chapatis are cooked. And we're using medium heat, not too low, not too high. And that's it guys, our chapatis are ready. 
very soft very foldable and they have layers thank you for watching